Despite having the best intelligence agencies out of all the nations in West Asia, how did Israel remain unaware of the attacks launched by Hamas? Hamas militants broke through the border fences at multiple positions, paraglided into the territory and rampaged through the Israeli colonies. These attacks by Hamas left thousands dead and many wounded. And these attacks and deaths have exposed the crack in the armour of Mossad, Israel's wanted intelligence agency. So what do we know about Israel's famed agency and how did it fail? Mossad handles Israel's spycraft around the world. It was founded in 1949, shortly after the establishment of the State of Israel. After the US CIA, Mossad is the second largest intelligence agency in the world. In 2023, it had an annual budget of $3 billion and a staff of 7,000. Well, you can think of it as the Israeli version of America's foreign intelligence agencies or India's RAW. From abducting Adolf Ekman, one of the architects of the Holocaust, in 1960 and bringing him to Israel to stand trial for his crimes, to conducting Operation Wrath of God, killing those involved in the murder of the Israeli athletes during the 1972 Munich Games. Mossad has a reputation of ruthlessness. It ensures to eliminate Israel's enemies from around the world. The appointment of Mossad's spy chief is a private affair, privy only to some members of the Prime Minister's Office and Civil Service Advisory Committee. Its internal workings are extremely opaque and often kept far from public knowledge. Mossad is headquartered in Tel Aviv and has many departments including Yet the militants of Hamas simply bulldoze their way through it. Actually, Hamas played a game of deception with Israel. It gave Israel the impression that it was not ready for a fight. It used an unprecedented intelligence tactic to mislead Israel over the last months by giving a public impression that it was not willing to go into a fight or confrontation with Israel while preparing for this massive operation. Since the 2021 war with Hamas, Israel has sought to provide a basic level of economic stability in Gaza. So while Israel was led to believe it was containing a war-weary Hamas by providing economic incentives to Gazan workers, the group's fighters were being trained and drilled often in plain sight. As part of its plan in the past two years, Hamas refrained from military operations against Israel, which shifted the focus of Mossad from Hamas to other missions. Another thing that threw Mossad away was no leaks. Israel has long prided itself on its ability to infiltrate and monitor Islamist groups. As a consequence, a crucial part of Hamas' plan was to avoid leaks. Many leaders were unaware of the plan and while training, the thousand fighters deployed in the assault had no inkling of the exact purpose of the exercises. Well, now Israel has more pressing priorities. It needs to contain and suppress the infiltration of its borders removing militants who have taken control of several communities on the Israeli side. It will need to address the issue of its own citizens who have been taken captive either through an armed rescue mission or by negotiation. And perhaps the biggest worry among all for Israel is how does it stop others responding to Hamas' call to arms and avoid this violence from spreading into the West Bank. Hope you found this video informative and for more such content, keep watching Money Control.